What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Perexy Sess, and today we're going to be talking about five things that will make NBA 2K17 instantly better than 2K16, and I'm going to go my career, my team, Pro-Am, and Park. I'm going to go in that order, and let's go. Alright, real quick, let's talk about 2K16, my career. By this time around, man, everybody was already excited for 2K16, my career. We saw the trailer, we saw the frequency vibration trailer, we saw Spirit Glee direct him, so everybody was hyped. And when we got into the game for the first day, I was addicted. Like it was it was it was amazing. The story was amazing. But then after you play that shit for a couple after you play that shit for a couple days, you start to realize that there's no more cutscenes. And it's like, why should I even play this anymore? So the, the my career my career really died down for everybody really, really quick this year. Alright, so my first feature is pretty obvious. Mostly everybody already asked for it. And it's uh it's connected careers. I know Madden has already implemented in that into their game. I, I personally don't play Madden. I haven't played Madden since last gen, so I, I I don't know how that works in within Madden. But imagine if you could play imagine if you and your boy could play on the same team up against the Hall of Fame CPU. You know how hard it is to play the Hall of Fame CPU by yourself in this game on my career? Pretty damn hard, man. Pretty damn hard. It's not impossible. But it's pretty damn hard. So imagine if you could play on the same team as the the best backcourt deal in my career, or some, or 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 maybe if you could play against each other in my career, that would be awesome. It, it would, you know, it would, it would be something new and exciting to add to the game, and people would just love it from the start. Look at that dunk, though. Y'all see that shit? <laughs> anyway, man, let's go on to the next one. My team. Alright man, I am not the biggest my team player, but at the end of 2K15 and the beginning of 2K16, I had made a goal before 2K. Before 2K16 dropped, I said, yo, I'm going to build the greatest, uh, with all the best Celtics players, because I'm a diehard Celtics fan. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build that, that my, my team is going to be all the best Celtics players that they have available in the game, whoever played for the Celtics, and that's going to be my, my team. I'm going to build it up, and I'm going to be killing niggas on my team and everything, but about a month into the game i realized that it's just a long and tedious process getting getting mt it's way too it takes way too long man we need better rewards for doing the domination like it it's that it that doesn't give you any any mt period like that's why they even 2k they know that's that's their, that's where they get their money from because people don't waste their time playing so many games they they spend their money or MT man, they know that they spend their money on those uh, on those packs and everything. So uh, we really we need more um we need better rewards for the for the games that we play, the offline games that we play, and also a lot of people are talking about Ultimate Team. Um, I know Madden has Ultimate Team again. I am not the biggest Madden player, but um this idea that a lot of my team players I've heard of, uh, all my all my friends that play my team they all tell me. Yo, we need a draft in my team so we could we could try our cards and stuff. It'll be lit, and it'll be they could they could probably make a season, play games with, the, with all the best players in the game. So uh, that's that's my team. That's my opinion on my team. Next up is a uh, is a little bonus I'ma throw in here. All right, man. So real quick, we're gonna be talking about All Star, the All Star Weekend, and my court and my court type of shit. So um, All Star Weekend in this game, they need to add like. Where you can just hop into a dunk contest with with my creative with um with NBA players or even have a dunk contest with you and your friends my players like that would be so cool. The dunk contest in the game is terrible. I'm just uninterested. Like I I I don't even I don't even do that shit when in, when it comes to my career because even when you do complete the dunks they give you terrible grades and the way that you have to complete the dunks the three point contest too it's like. It's not even like the shooting form that you're shooting. It's like this. It's like they give you a time, like bar to shoot. And it's not even the, the player's shooting form that you're shooting it. And all star, the all star game, the rising star, the rising stars game. Those is whack because it's like you don't even have fun. It's like you're really playing competitively against all the NBA players. It's like it's not fun at all. And uh, they need to tweak that. And with um, with Mike, with my court. What if you could 
What if you could have a three point shootout in your mic court? What if you could have a dunk contest in your mic court? Have your friends come and judge you in your mic court, feel me? Like, that would be so lit, man. That People would be in the mic court all day. What if you could, uh, what if you could play uh, King of the Court in, 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 in your mic court, man? What if you could play 21 in your mic court with more than three people, not just three people, with more than three people, man? Uh, and in, anyway, man, that's, that's my opinion on that. Next one is a uh, pro am. All right, man. I got a whole bunch of pro am gameplay on my channel. Y'all watching pro am gameplay right now, and I could go on and on about pro am. If y'all haven't seen my pro am wishes video, go check that out. It's still my most watched video to this day. But um, I'm gonna make this quick. And the most, the most, the top thing right now, I think that people want is the uh, private matches, self-explanatory. You a top team. The other the other team is a top team, top 100, top 50, whatever. Y'all want to play just to see where y'all at, man. Or you got five people in the park talking shit, five of your friends talking shit. You got five. Y'all just go up against each other and see who the real boss. Man, that's self-explanatory. I don't want to take too much time on that because most 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 of my pro am stuff. Y'all just check out the video. Y'all hear me talk about that. Next up is my part. All right, so my park. And once again, man, I could go on and on about my car, my park. I've been playing it a lot recently, but um, the, the 2K16 is pretty dead right now, uh, cause 2K17 is about to come out. But um, the, my top thing for my park and what I hear a lot is Jordan Rex Center, man. I stated this before in my other video. The way they made it, way pro, the way they made Pro Am this year and Jordan Rex Center and 2K15, those are two separate, completely different things. I think they should be two separate things in 2K17, and um, I, I think they should bring the Rex Center back somewhere where you can earn more rep in a 5v5, you know, kind of environment. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. Everybody wants it back in the game, man. So just bring it back. So everybody want it back. Yo, bring it back, 2K. All right, so that's going to do it for the video, man. 2K17 is about to drop next week. The prelude is about to drop. I will be live streaming. Do not miss the stream. Link is in the fucking description. Do not miss that stream, man. Do not miss that stream. I will be live streaming. I'm hyped for 2K17, man. It's been your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Suss out.